morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, so today we are opening both of the lovely, lovely Shrouded Fable Special Illustration Rare Collections. These are, I've come out and said it, I think these are among the coolest products we've ever had released, and I mean that sincerely. And for my birthday, my, my, my wife was just like, uh, well, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, I don't know. My birthday was like Sunday, by the way. And, um, oh, I, right. I'm opening these because I'm going to, I'm telling four stories at once here. Um, basically, it feels weird opening cards not on camera. So I'm opening them on camera. I don't know if I'm ever uploading this. If I do, it's probably going to be when I go away for an event at some point and I need a video. And I think this is going to be a fun one. So I'm going to record it and I might use it or I might not. But if I don't, you'll never know. And if I do, it might not actually be, you know, for a week or two. Either way, it was my birthday. And I told my wife, I'm like, look, these collections are cool. So my mother-in-law got me one. My brother-in-law got me the other. I can't remember who got me which. It doesn't matter. They're both awesome. And I'm not one to leave products sealed. So we're going to open the Greninja Special Illustration Rare Collection and the Kingdra Special Illustration Rare Collection and hope we pull some good stuff. Sound like a plan? Excellent. Right. So first things first, let's liberate the promos and get these... Um, well, put away neatly, shall we say. Now, the Froke and Frogadier are cool. But obviously, what we're really hyped about here are the Greninja and the Kingdra. So in each of the boxes, you do get the Special Illustration Rare. And then you get the Pre-Evolutions. And these are, they're in the Ukiyo style. Oh, ukiyo -e, sorry. Style from, you know, like traditional Japanese art. And they're just wonderful huge 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 fan of these cards uh they are only available in these boxes and look if you haven't if you're watching this and you haven't picked these up yet and you're thinking oh you know maybe maybe one day i'll pick them up don't don't muck about because i imagine not unlike the not quite to the same level admittedly but the uh remember the ebv max collections yeah remember how they sold out and just like never came back because they were ridiculously good. I'm not saying that's going to happen here. But I am saying I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it did. I imagine these are going to be products that sell out. Because they're amazing. And don't really come back. Or don't come back often enough. And I think certainly, you know, if, if we flick forward a couple of years. I do think these are going to be products that a lot of people are going to regret not having picked up at the time. So, as I throw my rubbish just randomly to the corner of my room, here is the Kingdra. And neither the Kingdra nor the um, Greninja are particularly playable. That's not the point. The point is that they are just two of the coolest promos you'll ever see. I think Pokemon are Mr. Trick here. Because you look at these, you look at the obvious style. They are absolutely amazing. Although they are actually different artists. And my answer is, why only two? It just seems weird to me. Like, you, you've absolutely nailed the style here. You've made these amazing cards. And then you stopped at what? Why? Why? Why did you stop at two? I don't really understand. Uh, I'm imagining they're going to be in the end of year set over in Japan. Uh, Terrastal Festival. But the honest answer is... It's not really an answer, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Uh, but honestly here, I just don't think they're going to be easy to pull. And I would love it if I did, but you can't guarantee that. Of course, the interesting question becomes, might Japan put extra in there? Might Japan actually go for more of these? And the answer is, I don't know, maybe. So, 10 packs to open. Let's get rolling. Duskull, obviously very good for the evolution. We like Stuffle. Kyurem's a very playable card. Night Stretch is a playable card. We've got Hypno, Decidueye, hey, ooh, and the Hollow Energy as well. Hollow Energy are not one per pack. Hitting one of them is cool. Uh, for what it's worth, I think this is actually, these are the packs from the Greninja collection. Uh, for what it's worth. Nice, okay, that's cool. The energy, they, they do, the energy do come out, of course. 
but they're not like a hard and fast one per pack kind of thing. They um they are rarer than that. Okay. Decent pack number one. With an EX and a hollow energy and some playable cards. Look at Beware looking menacing. Oh, oh, there's something cool in here, ladies and gentlemen. There is something cool at the end of this pack. It's trying to peek out, but I don't want it to peek out yet. We can wait. We got Academy at Night. Playable card. Malawa. Hey. Rev of Room EX. So, and actually, if you watched my, um, uh, what do you call it? If you watched my opening that I did a Shrouded Fable on release, you may have noticed that I pulled two Rev of Room EX. I don't need Rev of Room. You know what I do need? Fez and Dipty. You know, like the really playable card? The one that's amazing? Yeah, that one could really do with a Fez and Dipty EX. So, um, yeah. Oh my goodness, there's something in here as well, which I don't think is an EX. So far, in two... Because my Child of Fable opening wasn't great. Yeah, there's a full art of some description coming at the end of this pack. Let's get there, shall we? We've got Iron Moth. We've got Inkay. Hey! We've got full art Cassiopeia. Right, everyone go and buy a Greninja collection. Because I bought it just... I bought it. I got it for the promo. So far, we're free for free in packs. We've had Kingdra, we've had Rev of Room, and we've had full art Cassiopeia. Uh, no pheasant dip to yet, but a man can dream, ladies and gentlemen. A man can dream. Okay. We're probably going to get a couple of duff packs now, but you know what? I can live with that. We've done very well up to now. There's Horsey and Fracture and Hypno. Yeah, that's a regular hollow, I believe. Colrus's Tenacity is a cool card. We've got Persian. We've got Haxorus. And a hollow Cresselia. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! And a hollow energy as well. So we did hit someone else that was pretty cool. Although I am running out of sleeves. I mean, I'm not running out of sleeves. But, I mean, I'm running out of sleeves that are sat directly next to me while I'm opening these packs. Uh, we'll worry about that one a little bit later, I believe. Right. Okay. Pack number five out of five. This is the final one for this box. And like I say, we've already hit the Kingdra. The Rev of Room and the Full Art Cassiopeia, along with two Hollow Energy. I don't think that's too bad, frankly. But maybe we can get something cool to finish off. We've got Binding Mochi, Zorua, and Copper Raja with a non-Hollow Energy to finish. I'm just saying it, that, that Greninja box did me pretty well. Okay. So now the question becomes... Can we do the same thing with the Kingdra box? Obviously, I am very much hoping so. That would make me happy. Right, let's get rolling. So we start off with Dartrix. We got Stuffle. We got Hound Hour. Oh, Hound Doom, sorry. Uh, Furfro. We got Malamar. We got Weevil. Zero Six Machinations. Rev Hollow Night Stretcher. Rev Hollow Weevil. And a Hollow Haxorus. Ooh! I'm going to have to stop sleeving the hollow energy for a minute. I'm running out of sleeves. I like giving you the hollow energy. I do believe, again, I think this is going to happen a lot with, with sets like Shrouded Fable. Because I know not everyone's that high on Shrouded Fable as a set. And I think that's fair. I understand why people are going there. Uh, I like the set as a whole for what it's worth. But I did do a video a little while back kind of asking, was, was doing the set in this way a mistake? Ooh, Duskops is good. Power Glass is good. Uh, Rev Follow Zero Six Machinations. Rev Follow Crobat. And Tapu Bulu. Oh, and another Hollow Energy. So we're two for two on Hollow Energy from this box so far. That's quite nice. Okay, we do need something a bit more, though, I think. Ace Spec. Or an Illustration Rare. Oh, well, there's something. Or an Illustration Rare, maybe. We've not had one of them yet from either box. We got Rev Hollow Varoom, Rev Hollow Joltik. Eee! Um, the only EX, actually, from the set that I don't have in Japanese. I don't believe I ever got a Petrant. But Petrant's very good. Already seeing a bunch of play. Almost certainly going to see more play in the future. 
Partly because it lets you switch your, your Darkness Pokemon into the active, which is good. But also because two energy, 60 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Great game ending attack. Right. Oh, oh, I think that, is that an ace back I spy? See down there? Maybe it's an ace back. That'd be nice. Wouldn't mind a little ace back coming out here. Got Weavile. We got Night Stretcher. It is. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got Rev Hollow Zuba and another Haxorus. Uh, I'm laughing because Dangerous Laser might be the worst of the Ace Bet cards to date. Although there was a single person, there was one Iron Thorns EX at the World Championships playing Dangerous Laser, and it was just the one. But there was one person at the World Championships playing Dangerous Laser as their one Ace Spec they were allowed in their deck. Come on, give me one illustration rare to finish off in this final pack. I mean, again, if, if we look, we've so far hit three EXs, a full art supporter, and an ace pack. We've done all right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just greedy. I'd like a bit more. Uh, Rev Hollow Kufon, Rev Hollow Decidueye, and actually, oh, one more Hollow Energy is quite nice. So we actually hit a bunch of them in the end. Um, yeah, it's almost actually one of my favorite cards in the set. It does 60 for each of your opponents, Pokemon EX and Pokemon V. Which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Not too bad. So what did we hit then? How do we do? And the answer is we did all right. We did all right. So obviously we had, you know, the promos, which are very, very cool. We then hit three EXs, a full art. We hit an A spec. And then five hollow energy to boot. I think not too bad. Shout out to my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law for buying me Pokemon cards for my birthday. Apparently understood the assignment. Now it's over to you guys. Have you picked up these promos yet? If you haven't, seriously, I think, you know, sooner rather than later. What were your pulls like? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then the usual deal, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye.